Coders, and welcome back to Mage Quest. Uh, we're getting ready to head into the Nether to go back and get our stuff back. So let's get on to it, shall we? In we go. Out the other side. I think the other side is the closest route. Yep, there it is. We were actually headed on our way out of the nether when we got attacked by a wisp. Whatever the hell that thing is, it is still there. Fucker. Excuse my language. It is still there. So it is still going to be a problem for us. Um, but we need to get over there and get our stuff. All right. Let's get, let's just go, go. Let's just go. Go, let's go. That must be what I was hearing earlier. No, you are not stealing my stuff, dude. It doesn't work that way. Oh. I think that's it. I think that's everything. All right, let's get out of here. Take it to the house for any more of those wisps show up and decide to kill us again. That's some weird enemies in this in this mod. Whew. again I managed to get everything here I think I think I think yes we have we have it all right all right awesome awesome so let's reorganize my inventory because this is just blah all right let's put this back in here I'm gonna keep that dang armor on because we need it all right, put that back in there put this back over there let's go cook this this meat that I just picked up there we go. Uh, let's see. We also picked up some glowstone. I'm, do I have a stack in here already? I do not. Let me make sure I don't have any over here. No, I do not. So we're going to go ahead and, and, and place a glowstone box in here. So we have a central location where we know where to find all our glowstone at right there. Actually, you know what? Let's put it up here underneath that. That's perfect. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of this cobblestone and everything. Uh, soul sand, cobble, gravel, and that. So we have another piece of purple thing there. Oh, that's a flower, so I can go in there. This can go in here. Blaze rods. Oh. There's our bread. Blaze powder, I'll st stuff you in there for now. And we need to get some mushroom growing going at some point. I got brown and white there. So we can put the white, I don't think I have, yeah, white petals right there. And Brown looks like it's right there. Okay. Last thing but not least, the peony. I'll place it right there. Looks good. Looks good. I thought I'd do the lamb chop in the cook. Oh, those are already cooked. Oh, I didn't get any extras. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Back to what we were working on. Oh, finally. We can finish this recipe with our lava sigil. Let's get this show on the road and finish another quest. Man, it took like four episodes to finish one quest. That is crazy. Especially because I've been up until now we've been doing like what three or four episodes per quest? Or three or four per 
quest per episode. All right, so there's the lot. Yeah, I did get the buckets back. I wasn't sure. And I get to keep the lava crystal. Really? Well, that's awesome. Okay, we have the water sigil. We have all this stuff. Um, let's let's get some stuff on the road here. Get this back over here. Get this back. I'm gonna throw you up in there for now. Grab our divine nation sigil, a blank slate. I really don't know what I'm doing with all this stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Quest book goes back over there. Okay. So we have it. We have that. Good. Uh, we have to pick iron ingots or reward bag. Hmm. That's a hard decision. I'm going to go with the reward bag because we have no idea what's in it. You know, it could be anything. So we'll claim that. And as I figured, burning life away. Lava crystal. Really? We had to make a lava crystal for the last one. That's just, wow. Okay. A sanguinous advancement. So this time I need blood, ru blood rune. See, the next stop on your journey is into the world of blood magis to enhance your altar. Okay, so this is going to be used to enhance the altar. Okay. Uh, well, while we're at it, before look at four obsidian from somewhere, let's go check our reward bags. Sixteen clay. Uh, four brains. Wow, we got plenty of brains to pick from. Okay, throw that in there. I got the glass in there. The obsidian, I guess, can go over here. Um, all right, well, let's see what else we got going on here. What's the next one? We need this blood room. How do we make a blood room? Stone. Blood orb and blank slates. Okay. No kidding. That's so easy. Maybe I need to cook up a whole bunch of stone. That's what I need to do. We'll just cook up a whole bunch of stone. Throw that in there. Because I know one of one of you guys have actually mentioned to me that we're going to need a whole bunch of stone for this. So that's... We're just going to go ahead and cook up a bunch. I've already got some stone cooked there, though. So let's go ahead and craft this. So it was like this, right? Right, right? Yeah, I need to put blank slate, blank slate, I think. And then put that in there. And that makes the blood rune. Okay, so I've got the blood rune. Runes augment altars. Uh, it's it, it's a hundred. Oh, I need eight of them. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, so I need more blank slates, too. How do I make those? So we throw stones on top of the altar to make blank slates. Okay. Do, 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 do. So we just sit here and watch it. It's just going to feed into it. Okay. All right, so that gives us a blank slate. Right, we, we did pick that. No, we did not. Look. Did I pick it up? Yes, I did. Okay. So let's put another one in there. So it looks like it's a thousand essence to make a blank slate. All right, so that looks like a glitch. It really, they need to be drawing it from both ends there. Yeah, no. Instead of relying just on the 3D, I think then the coding needs to check to see if it's a 3D object or if it's a 2D. And if it's a 2D, they need to draw the same, draw it on both sides, because that it just kind of disappears. Watch, look, it rotates around and poof, where'd it go? <gasps> is it there? Oh my God, is it there? Oh my God, it's not there. Up oh, there it is. All right, so we got four, and I need two each. Wow. Dude. Okay, so here's my question to you. Since this takes so long, is there a way to automate the translation of here? Like, you know, you're putting the stone in and pulling the blank slate out. Is there a way to automate that so that I can just 
set it up and have a whole bunch of stone set up and ready to go through and just keep feeding blood to it and let it let it do its little magic work and stuff uh let's see so we're working that i need to make some more of these that's two three Yeah, I need more more stuff cooking. Oh, did I? I did not cook on the other side. Okay, let's go grab another stack of stone. Oh my god, he was right. I do need a lot of stone for this, uh, which is good because I mean, it, I don't use a whole lot of stone even when I'm playing, you know, Ars Magica, like the original Ars Magica. It used a lot of runes for the original Ars Magica, Ars Magica one, which I thought was really cool because it's, you know, it's Minecraft. It, one thing you end up with a lot of is stone. A cobblestone. You end up with a lot of cobblestone, and you don't end up usually have a whole lot of use for it. All right, so there we go. We can make one more here. And so when mods make use of cobblestone, heavy use of cobblestone like that, it actually makes me happy because I'm like, you know, at least now I have a use for this stuff. So it should say 50%. It doesn't. What the heck? I'm making blood runes here, man. It's a blood rune. That's what you want. You should say 50%. Whatever. Whatever. Okay? Just whatever. All right. We're going to put this in there. Let's go pick up some more stone there. Yeah. See, this is where Ars Magica could help. Because I can just lay out a whole bunch of stone and pick it up with, with silk touch and be good to go. All right. So I need... You should be done, so we'll put one more in there for you. Ooh, I'm starting to run low on life essence here. I'm going to have to start feeding this thing back up again. Whew. All right, we got those two in there. Let's go ahead and feed it up again. There we go, feed that up just a little bit. And I have two of those, so let's go ahead and craft another one of these. So there's another blood rune. Five, so we need three more, three more. I also don't like that I have to have an empty hand to pull this stuff out. That's kind of annoying. See, there, I gotta do stuff like that. You know, I gotta empty my hand after I pull it out. All right, come on. This is such a slow process. Oh my god. All right, so that can be three. This will make four, so I'll be able to do two at a time once that's got enough cooked over there. All right, so there we go, and I do need more life essence in this bad boy here. Be careful not to kill myself again. I'm prone to suicide, apparently. <laughs> Remember from the previous episodes? Suicide, it was suicide. All right, so I got enough to make two. Seven, so we need one more, which means I need to infuse two more. Oy. We're just feeding blood after blood after blood. You should almost be done. There we go. Put one more in there. Oh. Just barely. All right. So this should complete a secondary quest. Or right, another quest for today. Here we go. There's eight. Oh, 
Yeah, I keep throwing stuff out. Look, I'm just throwing it away. I don't really want it, apparently. Do that. All right, let's go turn in this quest. So we want 16 blood runes or reinforced slate. Huh. That's a tough choice because I don't even know what the reinforced slate is for. Um, let's go ahead and grab the 16 blood runes. It kind of doubles my effort for here. So we'll take 16 there, claim the reward. Go back out. Bloodying your soul further. Altar has been upgraded. Uh, my altar has not been upgraded. I, I have not upgraded my altar. It's it's still the same. Ooh, do I need? How do? How, ooh, oh man, I need to know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how to do this. Okay, so upgrading the altar. Um, I imagine it takes the blood runes, right? Oh wait, let's see what's in that. What do we get? Yay, more clay. Okay, so maybe it takes. No, it doesn't do that. That's not what it's doing. Okay. Uh, well, no, that didn't work either. Oh. That just broke it and didn't give it back. Okay, fair enough. Well, I got 23 more to go, so I don't know. All right, so leave it in the comments below and let me know. Um, obviously, I'm missing something here. I'm supposed to be able to upgrade this altar, and I haven't been able to do that yet. So let's go back. Let's see. When it comes more powerful, you make it so careful. Runes augment altars when properly arranged, and despite there being many types of runes, two of which you can currently make, it is in your best interest to make the most basic type, the blood rune. Eight of them are required to enhance your altar at the moment, making a square around the block beneath your altar. Oh, okay, so there we go. So I need to move my altar. Shoot. Oh, well, I don't have a whole lot of life essence in it. It's okay. So we'll make a square around the altar. So I'm going to need pick this up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it right there and make a square around the altar so that means it goes below it perhaps I, I guess I don't know I mean so I'm guessing we put the altar there yeah see I kind of figured that would be lost and then make a square here that's what it looks like to me get in there thank you all right, so let's go grab an axe. Uh, I'm going a little bit over time here. This is my last episode for the night, I believe. So I'm gonna try to finish this off as quickly as possible. I'm guessing this is what I need to do. Uh, I might be wrong. It might be need, might needs to be at the same level. I don't know. Oh, it went up to level tier two. Okay, so there we go. That's awesome. So it is, that that does work. Okay, so let's feed it some life essence and see what happens. Okay, awesome. All right, well, that's going to be it for this episode. As always, a like, a comment, and a share lets me know that you care. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of Mage Quest.